Hello guys, welcome back. We've got uh, one more part to do and that's to uh, play the original Prince of Persia. The not so good one. The classic <laughs> one. Um, so, for those of you who don't know, uh, basically this was the first Prince of Persia game and it was a 2D platformer. Um, there's no, I don't think there's no dagger. There's just an hourglass in this game. Basically the princess is held captive and I don't think you're a prince but you're like some like some uh, lowly commoner, I guess. Um, how I see it is, it's kind of like um, Aladdin, where he has, where he's like a lowly commoner and he has to go and defeat Jafar, you know, and save Jasmine. That's 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 how I see it in a way. But I'm here. I'm just looking at the controls. So, yeah, this game, in terms of what it is, it's simple, but it's not an easy game. Like it, it's play, it's simple, but it's it's not. It's not. Yeah. Um, you know, there's no wall running, there's nothing fancy like that. You are literally just walking, running, jumping, and occasionally slashing. Or should I say stabbing, because that's all you do with the sword. You just stab. You don't do anything <laughs> else. I don't even think you can guard in this game, if I'm honest. But, um, yeah, you can crouch and you can, like, uh, do, like, slow walks to somehow walk in between spikes. I don't know how that works, but, yeah. So we've got 60 minutes left, um, basically an hour, um, to save the princess. Um, over time, as you go through the level, there'll be like a little cutscene showing like the princess with the hourglass, and you can see like time going down. Anyway, I don't know if there's any way to survive that jump um, without getting hit. But about the bottom left, you've got a health bar. You've got, um, I think there's supposed to be like three little jars or something. Um, yeah. So basically, if you get hit three times by falling or by that enemy killing you there or whatever, um, you well get game over. But well, no, you don't get a game over. Actually, I lied. You go back to the start. Um, I think the only way you can get a game over in this game is if the timer runs out and then you have to start again. But you got fifth. You got sixty minutes. So I assume you can screw up a lot in this game because it's really hard and you have a lot of time or they're just really harsh on you i'm not sure i've never completed this <laughs> at all um so the beginning of this is basically what we have to do here we have to uh open these gates um, with these hidden ledges watch out for like falling falling platforms and whatnot um, some of them will try and close the gate, so you have to kind of jump over them and whatnot. Like, there's one here, actually, like a trick. I call it like a trick, trick, trick switch sort of thing. There you go. But um, we have to uh, grab the sword, because where that enemy is is where we want to go. Uh, but we can't we can't fight him. We can't do anything. So we need to get the sword. Um, so pretty much, we just go all the way to the left, as far as we can. Pick up the sword. Come back right. Um, and then defeat the enemy and then go through the door. This is the annoying part, though. Um, as we go to pick up the uh, sword, you just press square to... Um, I could have survived that, but I just chose not to, really. I just, <laughs> well, I survived, but I, I, I got hit, so... Yeah. It's a bit finicky picking up this sword, I will admit. But um, once you do that, it's like, oh, you know, we got the sword, la la la. Um, I think if you press the triangle button, it tells you how many minutes you have left. Um, so you can always look at that. Um... But, um, folks, I, I really don't like this game. <laughs> this is really a downgrade from the Sands of Time. Um, um, you know, I no, I really don't like this game. Um, you know. I... I died. Yeah, lovely. But, um, yeah, that's, that's, that's going to leave a sting, that's for sure. Anyway, we're back again, so no game overs. But, um... <sighs> See, yeah, that's how you're meant to do it. That's how you're meant to get down there. But, um, see, one thing I thought they'd be nice enough to do, which is what I thought here, was that if you grab the sword, you keep it. But no. There's no, like... I don't think there's checkpoints at all in this game. They're only... Well, there's checkpoints between stages only. So if you're playing a really, really, really long part and you die, you have to do all of that again. There's no checkpoint. That... No, that to me that kind of gameplay is horrible. Like, imagine if Oddworld was like that. There was no checkpoints. Just you have to get to like a cutscene or a certain part where it classed as a new level, and you had to traverse through a hell of a lot before you get to that bit. 
And obviously, because of its difficulty, you keep dying. And you have to do it all over again. You know? <laughs> Oddworld is already a very difficult game, so it could be quite frustrating to people. You know? But, no, uh, no, nah, no. Nah, nah. Now, there is a sequel to this, Prince of Persia 2. Never played it. Um, I know it's kind of like the same formula. I don't know if it's any better, like, control-wise or anything. But, eh, I don't plan on playing it anytime soon. And personally... <laughs> I mean, even I like a challenge, but I just think this is just kind of dull. I mean, all you're looking at is these grey, because I think you're like in a, like, you're, you begin with you're in a dungeon, I think, and you're trying to go up like the, or go up the tower or whatever to save the princess. Um, I'm not doing very well here, but don't, don't worry, I edit some of it out. But, um, <laughs> but um, yeah, so every time you go through here, you have to pick up the sword again. Till you get to the next bit, and and then you you know you keep the sword, whatnot, you get to the next level. But um, I no, nah, I wouldn't recommend playing this personally. Um, even if you like a challenge, I just no, <laughs> I I just I don't find it a very enjoyable game. It's it's not like you know fantastic. Look at I mean, when this first came out, um, I can't remember I can't remember what it was on, but it was on a really old really old console so i guess i can give it a little bit of a break but you know they, they didn't have to make it that hard i mean the, the prince is slippery when he runs yeah. um like like as you see like when you run and you turn around he kind of has to like he kind of like skid turns and turns around you know he he's very very slippery if you if you run you don't quite stop immediately so that can really screw you over with the tight platforming in this game um, you know, he, when you run, he kind of starts off slow and then suddenly picks up like a lot of speed and then you can't stop. So yeah, that's, that doesn't really help put it that way. But, um, <laughs> now I, I thought there might be like some secrets, but there isn't really many secrets in this game, to be honest. Um, it's just pretty much just hope you know where to go go from point a to point b now i do eventually do this part yeah i added out there um i don't know if there's an easy way to do it i just assume that you have to do it the way i'm going to do it which is like i think i like i i like i stand on the edge of the platform and then just run and leap but you don't get much time to run and leap at all so it's it's all about timing really it's you're either gonna do it or you're not going to do it like i'm sure there's um, it's, it's just like that with like uh, again mentioning the world it's just a good comparison in terms of difficulty because that's another platform but like I'm sure there's instances where Abe has to like run and jump and you have to time everything damn perfect you know yeah. but at least at least Abe somewhat controls really well the prince doesn't so you know it's it doesn't make it any easier on this game. And I know I'm not, if anyone does actually like this game, I apologize. <laughs> but, um, I, I really, yeah, right here. I assume you've got to run and jump, but you hardly get any time to jump. So you're probably guessing what's going to happen. You're just going to run off down to the spikes. And I've done that a few times. I don't know if it's this bit, I actually do it or not, but, um, yeah, it's, I mean, it says folks, this is the first level. There you go. <laughs> It makes like a funny little scream as well. <laughs> I mean, so yeah, the princess she'll be in good hands <laughs> um, if he can even make it there in time. But um, I don't know if there's any bosses in this game. I've never gotten that far. Um, <laughs> I just know there's like the standard enemies in this game, which they, again they can block. I don't know how you block. I don't know if you can. Um, um, I think I saw in the controls that did say you can parry with X, so mm. I don't know. I think that might be how you like parry their attacks. Yeah, it might be. I'm not. I'm not. Um, 100 too sure. I haven't experimented too much. Um, yeah. But uh, I mean, when the uh, when the opponent uh, block, they they don't like take a stance or anything. They just literally look like they're stabbing you, but they are blocking, so you can't really tell. So oh. <laughs> really, the best way. I mean, we're not going to get to them just yet, but when we do, 
Um, you just kind of have to wait until he tries to stab you because he does have like a few seconds before he actually hits you, um, and then you and then you go for him. So that that's pretty much what I do. I just wait for him to attack, stab, stab again, stab, and then it's done. They they they, they go down in three hits. But um, I assume that um, that a uh, bag of skeletons there was the last person that tried to do this and didn't get that far. <laughs> there you go. But um, hmm. Very, very, not very inviting, but um, you do uh, you do pick up jars. Um, I believe there's like a jar on the second level, um, to recover your health. But there are um, sneaky jars, I call them, where they they look like they're fine, but they actually take your health away as well. So, um, I don't think I don't know if there's any way to know the difference. Uh, but in the second level, they put like a health jar right in front of you. You drink it, you're fine. And then they put another one right in front of you. And you probably think, oh, they're being really generous. Nope. The second one is meant to trick you. The second one is meant to say, look, you know, we gave you a first one. We're not going to give you another one straight <laughs> afterwards. You know, and, and then and then you get hit. I mean, I did it anyway out of curiosity because I was just like... Would they really do this? Probably not, but let's find out. And uh, it's like poison or something that the princess like, ow! So obviously um, you uh, lose a bit of health there, but you've only got two hit, well, not two hit, three hit points, so it doesn't take much. And like I said, he suffers from um, uh, full damage, that's what I want to call it, full damage. Uh, and there's no, like I say, there's no rewinding in time in this simple Prince of Persia game, so... You know, you're kind of kind of screwed in that in that remark. You really have to get everything right. But yeah, maybe one day I'll 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 I won't go back to this. But maybe one day I'll look up someone doing this because there's there's someone that's done this. There's probably quite a few people that have done this. But I no, I, I just don't have the patience for such a game. <laughs> I really don't. Um, do you have any experience with this at all, Jamie? Only for like a few seconds. I've played it like in an emulator once, but yeah, I the, that's too old and too finicky, so I never bothered yeah. to play much of it. <laughs> yeah, it. it I want to say it hasn't aged well. It really hasn't. Anyway, I just uh, took the enemy out. It's not too bad. I mean, I I put that a bit close because I only died at nine. But um, yeah, this is the door you'll see when you get to the end. Um, uh, just pull like the lever, and then uh, in you go. But um, and I believe this is where you get like a little cutscene showing the princess and then the like the hourglass and you've got like so many times and stuff. But everything's kind of basic. The music's all basic and everything. But yeah, it's just it will really test your difficulty. Yeah, there she is. But um, I don't actually know if she's captured or not. I mean, I, I'm pretty sure it says she's captured, but she's just sitting there and you don't see anyone, so I really don't know. But um, at the time, because you couldn't save this, because I think it's like for PC or whatever, um, they give you a code for each level, um, and that's how you come back to this level if you want, like you know, if you if you give up or whatever, because they you couldn't save with it. Um, man, this is going to like. I think like the Altari or something. I, th I don't think you can save the you know, in the Altari. I'm not sure, but um, yeah, it's 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 sort of like that, really. I guess I'm really like retro. <laughs> um, yeah, I want to say that potion down there is safe. I think it's safe. I think it's the one that I was saying that was safe, and I think there's another one. Um, yeah, 45 minutes. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think it. I think it might refill all of your health. I'm not 100 sure. Anyway, to avoid these spikes, you just have to. Uh, I think. I think that's what I, what what the parry was um, as well. Like um, nice. you hold X and you. I think it's hold X. Uh, it might be square. I think it's hold X and you just kind of you sneak through it um, somehow. I don't know. <laughs> Magic, <laughs> but um, I think really I only did two levels. Yeah, that's how crap I am at this game. I'm sorry. <laughs> it's hard, though. It, it really is. Um, the enemies only have three hit points. Again, you know, like, like I said, uh, I, I just attacked him and he sort of parried there or whatever. Yeah. Um, I really don't know if you can. Um, I'm sure you can. Um, it would be really annoying if you really can't. But I just found it easy to, to just wait for him to attack or come close enough to you and just stab him. And it's really not that hard. It's just generic, you know, just stab, 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 and there you go. Yeah. 
Uh, I think this this might be the bit, maybe. I think that potion down there might be it. I don't know. Unless I avoid it, we'll see. <laughs> okay, I avoid it, so... It's been a little while since I've uh, recorded, recorded this it. part, yeah. so yeah, I'm not too sure on uh, about that, but... um, Ow. That was not very nice. <laughs> I don't know who these guards are. Like, I don't know... I mean... <sighs> Is it? I guess the kingdom of Persia, but I, d I don't know who like who the actual enemy is. I, I know there's a story. Do I actually die here or not? I might do. I don't know. I don't, know. I don't think I do. No, okay. No, you survive it. Yeah, it's near <laughs> the end of the video, so I weren't sure. <laughs> yeah. I was like, did I die? I can't remember. Ah, uh, this is it. Okay, so there's a slight hint there. That potion was glowing. This potion is glowing in an opposite direction, so I guess it's just an indication to say don't drink it. Um. But there you go, in case you're curious, you get hurt. So, <laughs> don't drink it. <laughs> but, um, yeah, to sum up this game, uh, it's past its time. <laughs> it, yeah, to put it bluntly, it's not very good. Um, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you really... Yeah, there you go. If you you just jump across and get killed. <laughs> yeah. But um, if you really want to play this, you can get this almost anywhere. I think you can get this on PC. Um, you might even be able to download it off PSN or Xbox Live for all I know. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys when we do the next uh, uh, the next Prince of Persia game in the trilogy. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm getting my <laughs> words mixed up. Here. It's fine. Uh...